video for you. It is ready to go. I can't make a video today to save my life. Are you using custom fields in Kajabi on your forms to help you better segment your list as people are opting in or at any point in their experience with you? If you are, then you may not even know that all that really, really valuable juicy data is effectively stuck in Kajabi mud. I am going to show you on this video how to make sure that all your hard work doesn't get stuck in Kajabi mud. And if you had no idea that Kajabi has some vicious, vicious mud that you and your hard work can get caught in, then please follow me on this video and let me help you avoid this absolute mud messy disaster. All right, we are going to move through these different sections. These are not in-depth tutorials on how to make a form or how to set up Zapier. Ding, ding, ding. That is the tool we are going to use to stay out of Kajabi mud. So if you need a more in-depth tutorial in terms of click here, set this up, do this, make sure to watch one of the videos that I might have linked and or just search the channel. I have lots of the click here in-depth tutorials. This one is really meant to just save you from getting stuck in Kajabi mud. So what am I even talking about with Kajabi mud? Well, this is the instance and we're gonna pop right over here to my whiteboard. If you're wondering what I use on the whiteboard, check the description below this video. I will tell you exactly what I use. Um, I am practically world famous for the darn whiteboard. It shows up all of the time. So this is what we're talking about. Kajabi forms where you've gotten someone's name, you've gotten their email, you may have asked for their phone number for those of us that do use text messaging, more and more people are, and then we wanna give people choices. Well, Kajabi does make this easy because we have custom fields. We can use a custom field for anything. So what I'm gonna walk you through is giving people three choices hamburger, hot dog, and in this case, a Boca burger. We've given them these three choices using custom fields. And what happens is if we don't use Zapier, they get stuck in Kajabi mud. So let me show you the location of Kajabi mud. So you've made your form, you've made your choices, people are submitting the form. Where the mud exists is under contacts and then under an individual account. Yes, I also do not like this new edition. Nobody I know needs the half profile. We all need the full profile. So yes, you don't have to send me a message. I hate that step too. Uh, underneath the individual account, underneath info, this box right here, that's Kajabi Mud. Welcome to get stuck in the mud right there in this box. So here, this tells you what day they were added, have they subscribed to email marketing. This is a form I just completed myself and I picked the choice of a hamburger. So this information is great, but it's stuck. It can't, it doesn't go anywhere else within Kajabi. Now it does, we just don't have user interface. So for us, it's a mud bath. It is complete stuck in the mud. All right, now the tool you need to make sure that you don't get stuck in Kajabi mud is Zapier. Zapier makes you happier. Basically, this is a third party app that allows Kajabi or thousands of other apps to talk with other apps because we all know they speak different languages. They are written in different code. And Zapier is to me this translator between the two. So they call their actions zaps. Really, I like to think of them as a bridge. So I have data in Kajabi. It is stuck in this one area of the platform, but I might want to be able to sort 
hey, who are all my choice one people or my choice two people or who knows what I might want in the future? I need that information in a spreadsheet form. So I'm gonna give you the most simplistic zap, but it is a powerful zap in terms of the foundation it provides you both now, if you know what you wanna use the data for, and also in the future, when you might have another great idea. I know, I suffer from those also. And this way, the data is not stuck in the mud. So this is Zapier for those of you that are not familiar with it. You, it has thousands of apps. I'm gonna show you, obviously we're talking about Kajabi. So I'm gonna show you a very simple one that I've already put together. And they'll also give you examples. So there's a loads of ways that you can use this. Zapier is my probably number one hire for my digital team. I have a crazy, ridiculous, strong digital team and Zapier allows those repetitive tasks that happen over and over and over again to be done. So really, really powerful. Highly, highly recommend checking it out. This is the zap that you end up with. So when a form is submitted, then I just want him to put a line on a spreadsheet row because when it's on that spreadsheet row, and again, this is not an in-depth tutorial on each of these pieces. I will make one of those um, because Zapier has also refreshed its dashboard, but you can see it puts everything on a line. So imagine you have a thousand submissions and someone says, hey, could we find all the choice two people? Without this, that idea is stuck in the mud. With this, the idea can then drive down whatever road of ideas that you have come up with. Uh, I do love a good metaphor, don't you? So this is why I am a huge, 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 huge advocate of using Zapier. I don't want my info stuck in the mud inside Kajabi, which if we go back into contacts, back into individual record, open the full profile, open the info tab, here it is, it's living right there. Or, that's mud, or boom, lives on a spreadsheet. I can quickly go find things, use them, manipulate them, build onto them. You know, maybe you want to do other things, which I would highly recommend if you're, you know, using custom fields to segment, you might be collecting a phone number so you can then send it to your text messaging app. Whole variety of things that you can be doing if you're not stuck in the Kajabi mud. All right, so I can't be the only one that loves Zapier. Are you a Zapier fan? Let me know in the comments below if you are a lover of Zapier or if you are just meeting him or her for the very first time. All right, so if you are a Zapier fan, oh, isn't it wonderful? Um, if it is something that you are just looking into because you've never heard about this or you heard about it, but you weren't quite sure like what it was or what it did. If you're using custom fields on your form, they're in Kajabi mud. This is the way to get them out of the mud. So I do anything more than once, it gets a checklist and I share it with everyone inside PBK and also our YouTube viewers. So all you need to do is scan the code or follow the link in the description, but it will have all of the various steps for you in terms of how to set up Zapier on your end, what you need to do to integrate it with Kajabi, and it will also have links to my most common favorite zaps that I will gladly share with you. And if you are interested in PBK, we do stuff like this all the time. We talk things through, we leverage all of our collective genius. You can check that out on this code. And I have the next video all ready for you. So thank you so much for watching. 
and subscribing and leaving a comment. You have made my day and the kids are still convinced that we're gonna gain on Mr. Beast.